So I thought tonight we'd take a look at my Mezco 2016 Comic-Con Captain America figure. I've had him a good while now, and um, for whatever reason, I just thought tonight I'd pull him out and take a look at him, um, along with the Toy Biz uh, original figure and the Hasbro movie version. Um, the movie version's a good figure. I really like the fact that you get the Chris Evans uh, unmasked head, which Lord knows in the movie he can't keep his mask on. Um, the Toy Biz version, for me, really stood the test of time. Um, I enjoyed that figure. I, I think he's really cool. It looks like he's right out of the comic. Um, and he still works for me, you know, whatever it is, 15, 18 years later. Um, now getting back to what we're here to talk about, the Mezco figure. Um, this was my segue from 1 6th scale into 1 12th scale. Um, between him and before him, the, um, the Dark Knight Returns Batman figures. Um, just a really nice piece. He's really well done. You can see his chain mail or his scales. You know, each one is individual, individually done. Um, the tights fit him really well. I've heard some people talk about having the the fabric on the arms run up. I basically just pose them and leave them, so I don't have any issues with them. Um, the one issue I do have is with the stand. This peg, it really could be a little bit taller. It's not very deep, so he has a tendency to fall off it pretty easily. Um, a plus to him is the, the boot sheath and the knife. Those are really nice touch. Um, the gloves are really nicely sculpted. The uh, magnet is in there, so obviously the shield will just stay on by itself. You don't have to worry about it. I don't think yeah, there's nothing on the back. You gotta have, he comes with a little um, like harness or whatever you want to call it to hold his shield on his back. Um, now he does come with a, see it's, I find this is, it just didn't have to be difficult to get this stand to work. That's one of the really points where I think they missed the mark, which is not a big deal as a stand. Um, oops. Let's try that again. He comes with this really nice tin. <clears throat> Looks like an old-fashioned cookie tin. Maybe it had some delicious butter cookies in them. Oh, all metal. Got the little logo there from Comic Con. It's also got a lot of schmutz on it. It's, I don't know exactly what that is, but I don't want to know. Um, I don't know if this was anything or not. Oh, yeah, he comes with the. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it that well, but he goes from being skinny Steve to. Captain Steve. Um, he's got an articulated stand that he comes with if you want to do like a flight pose. There's his little harness to hold the shield. I, I don't know, I kind of like him without it, so that's the way I left him. You can do with yours what you want. I do think this figure is well worth getting. He also comes with an interchangeable head, which is just fantastic looking. And compare it to the Hasbro one, the Toy Biz. So that can go right on and again looks great then it comes with a multitude of hands um, an extra pouch and the hands come off very easily if you don't want them uh, you don't want them pointing <clears throat> let's see something else that looks good Of course, he doesn't want to. Come on now. Let's 
and his joint came out. Oh, that's great. There we go. So you can have whatever hand you want in there. Um, also, the Chris Evans head fits on there. The only downside to that is it makes him a lot more bulky. So if he's already too bulky for you, that's only going to make the situation worse. Um, but yeah, I think he you know, stands right in there with um, the other caps. So if you're having a 112 collection, he goes, he goes with them. As does um, I think Judge Dredd. Um, I have the two Dark Knight Return Batmans. I have the Mezco Batman vs Superman Batman. Um, all really well done figures and, and well worth getting. Um, but like I said, I wanted to pull them out and show them off. So thank you for looking and I will catch you later.